Hey guys, it's Shirt talking back for another video on this channel. We'll be talking about the Practice Demon event. We got this event not many time ago. And before the Valhalla Assault ends, <laughs> not many people will be, do will be doing this uh, right now be before the Valhalla Assault ends. But we'll be talking about this uh, anyway. So, this event has these two characters here. You see that these two women are strange. Why will we be summoning from them? Well, one of them can be gotten from Valhalla Assault events, the other I'm not so sure, probably, but not so sure. And then we have these girls to be summoned with the, the youngest version of them uh, on the banner. You see that it's Lenny in uh, Golden Garb and Lenny in Hulk Eye Bedelia. These two characters can be summoned. They are not that good because they are coming way too late. But they are F activate Alice Bedelia and let me check if the other one is also around. Lenny is also F activate. They, they, they are not that old but still won't be a match for people like uh, Arbiter Hearst or. Um, they are from the era of uh, Creation Valkyrie but not from Arbiter Hearst era. Or, um, but still not so good compared to them. But but okay, I'm not seeing a lot of people uh, summoning for them because I I'm yet to see a single friend of mine using them as a leader. So that's that's it. So they are buffed for this event. You see that this girl here. Uh, first, it's let me check it. But Delia, let's click Divine Weapon Traits first. So I'll be doing a review on them uh, probably by tomorrow. I don't like to do reviews on the same videos as the guide. So they are, uh, like I said, not that bad, but still not comparable to our recent releases. And then he, uh, the Delia has 200% damage plus on this event, and also 25 of the training bow drop. So the first part of the event, this event is a two-parter. The first part will drop the training bow, and you can use the two characters to get more drops. The Lenny only gets 10 more drops on the training sword, this is strange, not so sure why this happens. And the damage plus is also halved, only 100% instead of 200%. So the best girl here is Bedelia, and Bedelia also brings her uh, uh, signature weapon, what could say. The Hawkeye bow is a fire type of, Hawk, uh, of bow, not the first, probably the fourth we are getting, and this one deals... Uh, extreme damage so extreme damage is still our highest so far and also deals increased fire damage this is the first weapon with uh, increased fire damage with an extreme uh, as base so you'll be doing more damage with your action skills than all others this will be the highest so far uh, and also you'll be doing more attack with normal attacks because they you, you will be doing more fire damage converting to fire dealing more damage with fire. So this is actually our highest damage weapon so far. I don't so sure well, well, about the, the value for the flame auto increase, but that's it. But you still have to remember that bow users are not so good on this game and this is why the damage won't be that high as well. But that's it. Well, and yeah, it's good. The, the bow has five score guard. It's good because most give, give guard uh, for magic. And this bow is used for the second part of the event to give 25 more drops and also 200 damage plus. So, using this girl here, Bedelia, with the bow, you get 400 damage plus, just like with Arbiter Hurst event and her Albitora weapon. So, this will make a very, very easy farming. And you can summon multiple weapons of this Hawkeye and then fuse it together when the event ends. So we have some more information here about the orbs of these characters, but this is not important. We will be seeing this on the uh, review of the characters. So now let's just give a look on the notice so we can talk about everything that they are sending to us to this event. And we have here the notice called Event Practice Demon. We have the young versions on this image here. And they would uh, talk in here that um, we have some titles to get. And there's also another character that has plus damage and it's able. Able is, is also on the banner, you can summon for able. Another thing that I forgot to talk about is that this Divine Weapon Summon does not uh, have other artifacts besides the three artifacts that we're seeing. And able is included, we can only summon these three artifacts with this banner, so that's why I'll see that not many people will be summoning unless they want these weapons. You can also get the Avengers word from uh, the Revenge of the Sinner event and Dragonian Halberd as well. Lakes as well, Shambhala, these, these are from past uh, events, they are not that old, 
And people that uh, didn't got these weapons to fa finish action skill level 5 can still get in from here. But we're not seeing the Spear Ward Mystil 10 here. Uh, don't know why, some weapons will not appear, but that Graciado is here. Strange, huh? Even Gihar is here. So, because the, the, actually there is a reason, because Gihar and that Graciado in Japan were not so... Um, what could I say? They were released earlier on the lifespan of the game. So they kind of changed some stuff for these weapons for global version. So that's why they have different volleys and different buffs as well. Okay, so, so that's it. And you can summon Abel. Abel is not bad. It's even being a first generation character, he still hold up against some enemies. The problem is just that people is way, way stronger than any other uh, Dark Element user. Still we can get some very, very uh, future characters in the game. So that's it, we can get these three characters only, just remember that. Let's get back to the notice so we can talk more. On the notice we can check what we can get from this event. Okay, so this is only the, the titles, I don't care about titles, then we talk about the items from the first part, we can we can get the Gear of Guidance, it's becoming way more important now, because for veterans at least, we have one Gidrazio branch, legendary Rainbow Stone, always important, and then we have this word called Blitzschlang, this Blitzschlang here is very important because, well, this is a lightning type sword, we had some in the past, we had um, uh, Desperate, this, this was from the Hesia event. We had Dane's Leaf, but Dane's Leaf is very, very old and started the game with it. And then we had um, the Death Graciado that we just got released with Valhalla Assault. But we didn't have uh, in the past some damage besides the Dane's Leaf. So this one is damage and it's very heavy damage. Very heavy is becoming uh, kind of outdated. But it's free, you can raise it to level 5, so I kind of recommend this for people that still need this type of damage. But for others, you can just shard it and get some 100 of Divine Fragments. Then we have the East Ward, this is important, get it. It's more important to get these weapons than getting scrolls, because this here can just increase the level with just this. But scrolls, you have to need uh, more scrolls depending on the level. So we can get more bronze scrolls. Bronze scrolls are in-game type of thing. If you are not a veteran and you are not close to to any type of game, you can skip it if you don't. Uh, if you can farm everything. And then we have armor fossils. These things are to limit break the five star weapons. This six star orb of sparks. It's very important to get all orbs from shops because they kind of have different type of skills. I don't know what this has, but. Just get it, okay? You can skip the Divine Weapon to hit gold, but get the Nameless Hero number 5. Then we have the second part. The second part has more interesting items because it starts with the Idrazo branch. We also get the new Rainbow Stone and this Scorpio Sword. I don't know the, the element about this. They don't. Like, we can check it now. Then we have the Bronze Scroll. You can get it if you are a veteran and if you are planning to farm the whole event. And this one has the Awakening Ember. The, the first part of the event only has Awakening Ember by clearing on stage, but it doesn't have from the shop. Oops. And then we have the Mark III things. And the Mark III things are becoming more important because we're getting a lot of it. And now we can really increase our um, best weapons with Mark III because Mark III is the last step. Even in Japan, they don't have Mark IV. So you can invest on this safely. And then this integration jewel may be worth if you want to trade your Mark III or Mark I for a Mark III. That's it. Well, this closes the information about the shop. We just need to talk some more about the stages. And well, we have a first stage that we can experience a new character. And this new character is the Hawkeye Bedelia. Bedelia, it's very interesting, uh, actually. She's like people, she kind of uh, acts like close combat. Mm, and just the last hit of her attack is is using a bow. She kind of launches punches and kicks. It's, <laughs> it's very funny to watch. And I do think that she's very fun to play. Sadly, she's not that strong. And then we have a five stage with story, just like most of the time. The story starts, starts on easy and ends on divine. You'll be getting five star weapons on easy, medium, hard and super hard. But like I said, they are not... Uh, needed for most people unless you are a newbie on the game. 
And then we have challenge uh, 1, 2 and 3. These challenge stages you have to face uh, beasts and these beasts have the elements of the weapons that you get from the, the four stages of the story part. These are five star weapon and you deal increase in damage to this beast. But like I said, you'll be wasting way too much currency to just upgrade these weapons. So try to defeat this beast with your weaponry. If you don't, if you can't defeat them, you may have to just invest on a five star weapon if you're a newbie. So let's just enter the stage at least so we can enter and see how this works. Uh, Importantly, this time the bosses will have their weakness on the top of their heads. You can check here and you'll, be, you'll see which type of an element you have to bring. And this time is a little different. You have to defeat the common boss first. It's on the center of the stage and then you have a chance to defeat all others on a single run. So you won't be wasting too much AP here. Uh, the, the stage only ends when you click on this chest here. So it's fun just uh, and you will be saving a lot of AP. But don't fret, uh, the boss on the center this time is the hardest one, not the beasts. Uh, defeat this boss here, see if you still have uh, action skills or healing, and try to defeat one, two, three, or four, depending on our strength. And then you have to rerun the stage, Doesn't uh, it's not that much of a waste. Go with your pace, don't try to push too far, okay? And then let me just get out of here. The first two challenges are not hard, the boss is just uh, doesn't have any special mechanics. But the challenge 3 may be a little too hard because this boss here is very, very uh, hard, it can deal a lot of damage. I had more trouble dealing with the dragon than with the beasts. The beasts uh, don't do that much damage, but they, and they do a lot of single target attacks. The dragon likes to use some EOE attacks, so you, I really recommend you guys bringing uh, people like Arngreen or Klaus here, because Fire is Arngreen, Thunder is Klaus. So they are kind of recommended to be using here, because they are also from the element the enemies are weak to. But uh, against the Dragon, I think Arngreen may work better. Um, but against the Beast, Klaus works better. So probably I would still recommend Klaus uh, more than Arngreen, but you have to have a strong Klaus using Svalin as a main weapon. So that's it, uh, I think the dragon may be a little problem for some, if you don't have the strength to defeat the, the dragon, well just farm the challenge too. I think there are some more things about this dragon that I need to uncover, maybe some way to debuff him, I will have to check this later. Okay, so this boss here, uh, the beast is likes to inflict poison quite a lot, the dragon can also inflict poison. So Klaus is also recommended to use because Klaus can cure your poisons. It's very good to just clear the poison because poison really makes you die faster. The dragon can also inflict curse and curse may be worse than poison if your character has more than 3 attacks. And I was using a creation Valkyrie with 6 attacks and he was just cursing me all the time and it was that's why I had to heal back. So that's it, that's, is the, these are the enemies you have to face. I have the other runs here on the description of this video, so you can check later. And that's it, there's no more things to talk. I don't want this video to, keep, to be just too long. That's it guys, thanks for watching the video so far. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we will see each other on the next video. Bye.